So now that you've had an introduction to the Camera Obscura, let's go ahead and review a bit. Okay, so this image here is an image that was taken of a Camera Obscura, or I guess I should say the inside of a Camera Obscura. So, um, a Camera Obscura is a box where no light enters except through a single hole. So if we look at this image here, this is a diagram of exactly what a camera obscura does. We have a box or a room um, that is completely dark with one hole in it and everything that is coming in is coming in through this hole and then projecting onto the opposite wall and on the opposite wall what is outside is actually being projected upside down just like up here so you can see that there's this uh, cityscape going on but it's projecting on the wall and it is upside down so in latin camera obscura means dark chamber or dark room and the earliest record of the camera obscura is from Chinese philosopher Mozzi, who lived from 470 to 390 BC. Now, if you ever get a chance, um, we do have a camera obscura in room 404. Um, you can talk to one of your instructors, one of your photo instructors, to see if you can gain access. And you can see that when you turn off the lights, there is a lens in one of the windows and that projects everything that's going on on the walls. Okay, so let's uh, take a quick look at the work of someone who is using camera obscuras right now. So Abelardo Morel uh, creates camera obscuras in different locations and then photographs the results. So let's take a quick look. So you can see here that it looks like maybe we're in some kind of, oh, it looks like in, in England where the image has been projected onto the wall and then he photographs that with another camera. Now with this image, the, the, what's being projected is flipped upside down through a series of mirrors. This series of mirrors is also what's inside of an SLR camera, um, which allows us to be able to see an image upright within the viewfinder. And this image, I think this is really cool what he's doing. He's actually created a tent where uh, he has a camera obscura that projects down onto the ground within the tent. And then um, he has a series of mirrors that takes what's going on outside and then does the projection down on the ground. Beautiful work. And this last one is, you know, really wonderful. It's inside of a museum. So it's very, me very meta, uh, referring back on itself and taking what's inside and projecting it indoors. Okay, so if you want to try this out, you totally can. Um, I have went ahead and added this link here on how to convert your room into a giant camera obscura. So if you want to try it out, go for it. All right, so next we are going to be looking at the events that led to the discovery of photosensitive chemicals. So, um, you know, this discovery of the camera obscura was the beginning of how photography came about. For thousands of years, we knew how that, well, we knew that a camera obscura, that if you had this hole, it would project to the image, but we didn't quite know how to get that image onto a surface that can keep the image. So let's watch this video next. <laughs> 